Hey guys, welcome to a little video I felt needed to be made to show my appreciation for my awesome badass parents. Some of you may remember the Facebook post I made about my car being totaled during Hurricane Harvey, and since then Britt and I have been sharing a vehicle. Well, word got around to my parents that this was happening, and they put their foot down and said, you know what? This kid we raised is pretty alright. Let's hook him up. This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. Let me introduce to you Lil Red, a 1988 Toyota truck. This sucker has four cylinders, four wheels, and an engine of a riding lawnmower. On the other end of the truck, we have two latches secured to the tailgate that swing free and allow the gate to be lowered. And you do not have to slam this gate shut. Easy peasy. This truck is also equipped with one hood, one door, and even another door. Pretty standard upgrades on a truck of this caliber. Inside the vehicle, you'll see it bolsters an immaculate interior with the level 3 millennial anti-theft device installed. And wait, what is this? A sunroof, you say? Yeah, equipped with an easy open handle. Count me in. Even though this rig is a two-wheel drive, she can still do some pretty nasty off-roading. And Pops, I'm really sorry for the following clip. Well, my friends, if you see a faded red truck driving around town sounding like a John Deere runaway zero turn motor, don't be afraid, it's probably just me. So give a honk and a wave. I'll be the one with the ski naked bumper sticker on the back. With all jokes aside, thanks Pops and Mama J for the for letting me borrow a little red. It's a it's a lifesaver. Britt and I'm Brit and my lives are going to be a lot easier now. Uh, thank you so much. I, I, I can't say it enough. Thank you guys and I love you. But now let's play a little game called the do's and don'ts of the new rig. I'm going to show you a short video clip and you're going to tell me if this is something I should do in the new car or something I shouldn't do in the new car. First clip we have here is a good old fashioned lowrider competition. Okay, now, I would do this, but you know how those low and lowriders are with the blood in, blood out thing? The blood in is probably the easy part. When it comes to blood out, I heard they remove your fuzzy dice with a fake switchblade that has a comb in place of the blade. And I'm not talking about the dice hanging from your rearview mirror. Oh, there's a second way to blood out, but it's even worse than the first one. You actually have to unbutton your top flannel button. Let's look at clip number two. Wow, look at that rocket, man. Oh, look at that. It's, it's, it's stopped from between. Wow, what is that? It's a rocket. No, but the thing is, it broke. Whoa. It broke. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This guy is not. Yeah, I'll probably look out for SpaceX rockets in the sky. This family was very lucky, though. Venus Williams comes out of nowhere ah! with a double. Ah! Fault, cross court, double handed overhead smash, leaving everything in her path dead or dying, most likely. Also, listen to this guy's I'm paying attention squeal. Shit, this guy is not paying attention, man. <laughs> Alright, we got the last clip of the day. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty neat one. Couple, just a couple dudes. Let's check it out. Hell yes, I'm doing this. I don't even have a joke written up for this one. I mean, all I have to do is get a couple of my buddies together, talk about some sweet camera angles, even have a follow vehicle, do a sick burnout in the abandoned Baptist church parking lot, and pretty much turn into a couple card-carrying badasses right there on the spot. All right, guys and gals, that's going to do it for me this episode. Thank you for playing along uh, until we meet again. Peace.